Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here. In this video, I will show you how to transfer your WhatsApp messages from iPhone to Samsung. Guys, for as long as I can remember, people have been asking me to do a video on how to transfer WhatsApp messages. Well, here it is, but there is a few things you need to know first. This video assumes that you have a new Samsung phone. So if you do, it needs to be factory reset because you're going to be copying data from your iPhone to the Samsung phone. To reset it, go into Settings, About Phone, Reset, and Factory Data Reset. This process will wipe the data currently on your Samsung, so make sure you do a backup first. The second thing you need to make sure is that you have both phones batteries fully charged as it will take a long time to move the data. The next thing to do is to turn off any security on your iPhone. So turn off passcodes as they will block the transfer process. The last thing you will need is a USB-C to a Lightning Apple cable. We will use this to move the data from the iPhone to the Samsung. Let's get started. Go ahead and plug your Samsung phone into your iPhone. Cool, you should see an app called Smart Switch pop up on your Samsung. Just go ahead and tap it, and then tap Download. Up top you will see a pop-up that says Downloading. If you don't see this, swipe down from the top of your Samsung, and you can check the download process there. You will need internet access for it to download. Cool, there it is. So tap Agree on the Samsung and then allow. We want to tap receive data because we are receiving from the iPhone. Then tap iPhone. Tap on OK. All right, it's come up with trust this computer on the iPhone. So go ahead and tap trust. and then tap Next. Awesome, swipe up on your Samsung and it will give you a complete list of data to back up. You can do this if you want, but this video is for WhatsApp only. So I will take the tick out of all the data and just tap on Apps only. Next, swipe to the bottom and tap Transfer. Now if you have a Google account, go ahead and sign in. Put in your email address and your password for your Google account. Google will ask you to approve the account on another device or in your email. Great. If you have made it this far, well done. Just unselect all the apps and then tap on WhatsApp Messenger and then tap Install. Okay, some phones will start the transfer automatically. If yours doesn't, then go into WhatsApp on your iPhone, go into Settings, Chats, and move Chats to Android. And then tap Start. Cool, tap next, and then you'll get a prompt to turn iMessage off on your old iPhone. 
You can follow the prompts on the Samsung or you can do it on your iPhone under settings, messages, and then turn iMessage button off. Once you're done there turning that off, just hit next. And then we don't want to download the data, so hit next again. All right, and then you're done. So tap on the done button. Awesome, go check and see if the WhatsApp icon is there now and tap on the WhatsApp icon. If you have a SIM card, now is the time to move it because WhatsApp needs your phone number to work properly. Once you have moved your SIM, tap agree and continue, and then put in your phone number. You wanna just go ahead and set up WhatsApp like you normally would. Once you put your phone number in, WhatsApp will send you a text message to verify, and then you should be able to go to the next screen, which just should say continue. You wanna tap allow, and then allow again, and then tap start. It will import all your chat history. So then tap on next and put a name for yourself. Cool, go ahead and if you want to, you can set up a Google Drive backup. Awesome, so all your WhatsApp chat should now be moved over from your iPhone to your Samsung phone. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as transfer data iPhone to Android in 2021. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.